All right, our next test, Chase will have a seat and we're going to measure ventilatory muscle strength. This test is called a maximum voluntary ventilation test. So what uh, our patient will be doing is we're going to again flush the air out. We'll have the valve set up and maybe you can point his face away there for a second while I flush the air out. And he's going to uh, inhale and exhale as forcefully as possible for 15 seconds. Now we want the depth of his breaths to be between about 50 to 75 percent of his vital capacity. So the speed is kind of important and the depth and he's going to go as fast as possible taking in 50 to 75 percent of his vital capacity <laughs> as quickly as possible for 15 seconds. Now I do have a stopwatch. We don't really need one because the drum when it does one full rotation will be 15 seconds but this will give me an opportunity to give him some encouragement and tell him how much time is left. So, we have the machine ready, we have our accumulator pen set up at a height that it won't interfere and dry it all over our other tracings, and we're going to go ahead and start the paper at the fastest speed, where it's one second between lines, so it just has to make one full rotation. When he's ready to go, we'll just flip the pen and have him start. So I will say on your mark, get set, go. So why don't you take a couple of nice normal breaths, get yourself all comfortable and ready, and when you think you're all set, ready to go, just give me the signal and I'll give you the countdown. Okay, you ready? Flip up the finger. Okay. So, on your mark, get set, go. Okay, he's going quickly and fast. That's it. Hard as fast. 50 to 75%. That's good. Excellent. Just keep it going. A couple more seconds to go. We're about halfway there. A little bit more. Almost done. Three more seconds. Come on, push it through and stop. Okay. And we hit that. And we got it. That would be our max BV test.